Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. First of all, I just wanted to say sorry that I haven't made a video in so long. It's definitely been a few months since my last video. Honestly, I was just really burnt out. I wasn't feeling creative anymore. I felt like none of my content made me happy or I was happy with how it was turning out and I was just honestly really burnt out. And so I decided to just give myself a break for a little while, but now I am back. I'm super excited because since then, I have recently got a new computer, which makes things a lot easier for me to edit my videos and I got some new camera equipment and stuff like that. So I feel like I am re-energized and ready to start making more videos. For today's video, I wanted to make a Amazon haul. I just collected all the things that I purchased off of Amazon within the last few months. I don't know about you, but I buy all kinds of stuff on Amazon. I have Amazon Prime, which I absolutely love and I'm always shopping on there making different lists of things that I want. And so these are just a few of the things that I've ordered recently that I thought you guys might like. First off, this is one of my very favorite Amazon finds and I don't know about you guys, but where I live, it gets really cold in the winter time and I always joke that I am a lizard and I have lizard blood. So whenever it's cold, I feel like I'm slow and I hate being cold. I'm definitely more of like a spring, fall and summer type of girl. And so I always love wearing Ugg boots. I don't necessarily think that they're the most fashionable thing or I love the way they look, but once you start wearing Uggs, you just know how comfy they are and it seriously feels like you're wearing slippers, but you can wear them anywhere that you go, to the grocery store, to work, whatever. So I love Uggs for that reason. And I bought these off of Amazon over a year ago, which is amazing. They are not Uggs, they are from the brand Ausland. They have the little logo right here. And honestly, these are just as good as my Uggs, if not better. I feel like they have held up better than my Uggs. They are still sheepskin inside, and so they are super, super soft, really, really warm, and I feel like they look the exact same as Uggs without the same logo. I do notice that the price of them fluctuates depending on if you buy them in a warmer season to cooler season, and that they do put the prices up higher during the winter, but I purchased these, I think, in fall of last year, and they were around $50. These are the other pair that I purchased. These are the ones that I got first. They're just um, really furry and fluffy. I think that this is like fox fur or something and they are also from Ausland. I love these. These ones just feel a little ridiculous so I do want to get the ones that I have in black just in like a dark brown but if you guys like Uggs but you want something that's the same just a cheaper price that holds up really well and feels the exact same I highly recommend these. All right, the next thing is something that I got really recently. Like I said earlier, I got myself a new computer and I needed a new mouse pad. And so I found this on Amazon. I absolutely love it. Obviously I am a makeup junkie, so it just has the cute little lipsticks and lips. And I swear, I think that this was about $7 on Amazon and I've really been loving it. All right, this next one is one that I saw something similar on Instagram and I feel like I've been seeing all of the really cute gold layered necklaces lately and especially ones with stars. So I found this one for $8 and I really like it. It goes around like this and then it goes straight down and I like to wear this with like a really low cut shirt and then tuck it on the inside of the shirt and I just thought it was really cute. It definitely is like cheaper quality, but I figured for eight bucks, that's what it was gonna be. And I actually am pretty impressed on how sturdy it seems. It is gold on the edges, and then it has the little silver rhinestones in the center of each of the stars. And every time I wear this, I actually get a ton of compliments on it. So I think it's really cute just to dress up any plain kind of outfit. I've been loving it. This next one I wasn't really sure about because I felt like it could have been kind of like trendy or gimmicky and I wasn't sure if it really worked. But when I went on Amazon and found this, there was like three or 4,000 reviews and it got like four and a half stars. So I figured out of 4,000 reviews, four and a half stars, it's pretty dang good. This is the Activated Charcoal Powder Natural Teeth Whitening. And I swear I thought that this was just something that like, was such a gimmick, but it actually works really well. I know that they have a ton of different ones and different brands of this, and I don't know if they all work as well because this is the only kind that I've tried, but this one is by Active Wow, and 
It comes in just a little black powder. It says that it is organic coconut charcoal and it has orange seed oil and a mint flavor. I don't necessarily notice the mint flavor and it does make your teeth look really crazy when you're brushing your teeth. It gets everywhere and it's very messy so it's something that you could probably like use in the shower. I just do it at night after brushing my teeth. So I make sure that my teeth are nice and clean and then I just dip my toothbrush into this and brush with this for about two minutes. And I swear within two uses, my teeth were so much whiter. My husband thought that I was being dramatic and he didn't believe me. So I actually make him use it as well. And he noticed after the first brush that his teeth were whiter. I think that this was around $25 which I think is pretty normal for teeth whitening and this is gonna last a long time. I use it all the time and it's barely made a dent in it. So I highly recommend this if you wanna try a natural way to whiten your teeth. All right, this next one I found through an article on Facebook. I think it was on like Buzzfeed or something and it was like the top 20 recommendations for makeup on Amazon or something. And so it was within that article that I found these. They are eight makeup brushes, four that are for the face and then four that are more for the eyes. They are from BS Mall. And I absolutely love these. I think that they were about $10 for eight of the brushes. And I was a little skeptical if they were gonna be good or not, but since the article raved about them, I decided to try it out and they are super, super good. They're very, very soft to the touch. I really love how dense all the bristles are. The barrel seems pretty sturdy and it doesn't feel cheap at all. I definitely like the shape of all four of the face brushes. There's this flat kabuki kind of style, the angled kabuki, and then the regular round dome face brush and then more rounded angled ones. I would mostly use them for foundation, but you could even use them for powder or even maybe like a bronzer for the angled ones. The eye brushes, I don't love quite as much. The two circular um, buffing brushes are really good, but I honestly don't see much use for either of these shapes. Just that like really flat top, I'm not really sure what I would use this for. But all the other six I really like and I definitely recommend if you guys are looking for like a good makeup brush that's on a budget. And then I found this, this is also makeup related. This is the Golden Rose Stick Foundation. I actually found this from um, Taylor here on YouTube, which her handle is the Taylor. And she is super, super fair skinned like myself. So I love watching her channel because she has a ton of great recommendations for people with fair skin. And she mentioned this one time on, I think it was an Amazon haul type video and she really liked it. So this is the Golden Rose Stick Foundation. It has extremely high coverage and it is really long lasting and also very creamy. I ended up loving this so much that I ordered like, I think six out of the eight to 10 shades they have. I even use the darker ones for contour. It's just really, really creamy, really high coverage and a great stick foundation. I do find that if you don't set it, it kind of can move around throughout the day. So it's very important that you set it with a powder. But if you are into stick foundations and you haven't tried this one yet, it comes in really fair shades as well as really deep shades. And I've really been loving it. Here are all the other eight shades that I got. And this is what I kind of carry in my kit. I like to use stick foundations in the winter time because it seems like people's skin is much more dry in the winter time. And so I like to use a creamier, more moisturizing foundation. And so these are all the colors that I use in my makeup artist kit and I really like them. I believe that that stick foundation retails for around six, to eight dollars. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's right in that price range. So that's a pretty good price as well. And then speaking of clients having extremely dry skin in the winter time, these are two things I also bought for my makeup artist kit off Amazon. The first one is this pure hyaluronic acid serum from Cosmetica Skincare. This is an amazing hyaluronic acid. If you guys didn't know, hyaluronic acid is um, a serum that is extremely hydrating. It's a humectant, so what it does is it takes any moisture out of the air and it actually sucks it into your skin. So it gives a very plumping and moisturized effect to the skin. And so this is something that I personally love to use all the time and I also like to use right before doing makeup and skin prep. It is safe to use right around the eye area and I like to use it on the cheeks and forehead 
red chin if they seem dry. It's really nice because it comes out in this little dropper. And so I really, really like this one and I will definitely be repurchasing this for my kit and for myself in the future. I definitely recommend this one. And a makeup artist must have is this Lucas Papa ointment. This comes all the way from Australia, I believe. Yeah, Australia. The Papa is a fruit that grows there that has really great um, skin healing properties. This is actually an ointment, so you can use it on all sorts of things. If you have like cracked dry skin, a rash, or insect bites, so it's something that you can use for all sorts of different skin problems, but what this works amazing as is an intense moisturizer for the lips. This stuff is absolutely amazing. I swear the Papa's, whatever type of fruit that is, it is just very, very moisturizing to the skin and it's really good. It kind of has the consistency of petroleum jelly, but I was reading in here that it actually contains no petroleum. So that's really interesting. It actually says that it is a fresh, fermented fruit and it's similar to the papaya. The last thing that I recently purchased for my makeup artist kit is this BH Cosmetics um, Studio Pro Ultimate Brow Palette. I have a ton of brow pencils and pomades in my kit, but I wanted to add something that was more of a natural powder because a lot of my clientele is very, very natural. And I always see the one by Anastasia Beverly Hills, how it has so many different colors, but I needed something really quickly for a shoot I was doing. And so I decided to use this one since it was on Amazon and I got second day shipping with Amazon Prime. I had heard that this was a very good palette. So it just looks like this. It has all of these different colors for all sorts of different um, skin tones and different colors that you need for your brows, and it is a powder. They have four waxes up here, which you can use before and after applying the powder to kind of make it stick better or to just brush the brows up if you want a little bit of hold and gloss. And then they have the eight brow colors down here. They have a very warm and cool kind of tones within. If you are a makeup artist and you need all different brow colors, this is a great compact little palette. All right, this last one is one that I got recently, and these are a bunch of different fragrance oils. I have one of those oil diffusers that you actually put water in, and then it kind of purifies the air, as well as making it smell really good with essential oils or fragrance oils. And since I had a bunch of essential oils, I wanted to try to get ones that were a little bit different smelling and kind of mixtures. So I got this little kit and it's from the brand Barnhouse Blue. They have a ton of different kits that were like holiday and then like sweets and fruits and different things. So I decided to get the flowers one. It comes with plumeria, sunflower, magnolia, honeysuckle, sweet pea, and lilac and lilies. And these smell so good. I think that there was only one in here that I didn't like, but they're just really easy to drop a few drops into the oil diffuser and it just makes your house smell so good. So I absolutely love these. I think this pack was about $15.99 and I definitely will be purchasing more sets of these in the future. All right, you guys, that is it for my Amazon finds. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any recommendations from Amazon that things that you've been absolutely loving, I would love to know what you found and I'll check it out myself. If you end up finding any of these things from my video and you end up ordering them, let me know how you like them in the comments below. Like I said before, thank you so much for being patient with me. I'm sorry I haven't put up a video in so long. I was just so burnt out, but I am excited to be back and filming again and I will see you guys later. Bye.